a beautiful country turned into a desolate swamp by the floods. Peace and disarmament. That slogan enshrines the ideals of Arthur Henderson's last years. After the general election of 1931, he devoted himself completely to the work of the Disarmament Conference, of which he was chairman. To a deputation of ex-servicemen at Geneva, he proclaims his faith. Armaments create the very dangers they are designed to meet. It was not Arthur Henderson's fault that the conference failed and that the worldwide tendency is to greater armaments, not lesser. Uncle Arthur was the organizer of the Labour Party and the millions who vote socialist at the next and future elections will remember with gratitude his share in building up their party, his share in their first governments. And the whole country will remember with affection a sincere and kindly gentleman. To the other great political figure who has passed this week, Britain looks back with no less but different affection. Lord Carson, the resolute fighter, who led the hostility of Ulster to incorporation in an island severed from Britain, who drilled Ulster volunteers to resist such a policy by force if necessary, appeal to the profound and sentimental emotions of patriotism, which lie very close under the skin of every Briton. His part in the war, his great reputation at the bar, these two will of course be remembered, but it is as a fierce patriot that Lord Carson's name will go down in history, when so many of his contemporaries will be forgotten.